Hey guys, it's me Angie and today I'm here with my first full video. So this video is going to be full life hacks. So I put together 10 of them for you all and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe now. That way you can be notified for any new videos and I'm going to stop talking. Let's get straight into the video. So the first life hack I thought was way helpful because I know during the fall time a lot of people start collecting a bunch of scarves because it is definitely a fall and winter essential. So a good way to organize them is getting binder rings or the rings that you use to hold up your shower curtain. Connect them to your hangers and you can loop your um, scarves through them. It's a great way to organize your scarves. They fit perfectly on it and you could just put it in your closet and it's organized. For all you coffee lovers, now I am one of the ones who I love getting iced coffee in the morning and I keep it with me um, during like the first couple of periods and it kind of gets really watered out eventually so I don't want to drink it no more and I eventually end up throwing it away and guys, they charge live. Ice coffee isn't cheap. So just to save some money, you can make iced coffee yourself or a frappuccino yourself. And what you can do that makes you save the money is instead of putting regular ice cubes um, in your iced coffee or in your frappuccino before you blend it, use coffee and pour it in the ice tray a night before. That way when you freeze it and you put it in your coffee in the next morning or in the milk, whichever you want to put it with, it doesn't get watered out. In fact, it's just going to continue tasting like coffee and you're going to drink it all. Trust me because it is delicious and it is a perfect life. Since we're talking about freezing, um, a good life hack is actually if you like love burning candles, you could put your candle in the freezer for a couple hours, take it out right before you're about to burn it and it will actually make the candle burn longer. Since it's frozen, it's not gonna melt as fast, so it has to like defrost. So it is a good way to make your candle last way longer than what you purchased it for because I know candles can be very expensive depending on where you get them from. And guys, if you can use a candle longer, that is a plus. Another great life hack is actually if you guys have like candles where once they burn, they burn to like the bottom and you turn them off because you know you like burn it like a certain amount of time every day. And it comes hard to like turn it on because if you hold the lighter this way, you eventually end up burning yourself and sometimes we all don't have the long like lighter sticks. So a good trick is, is if you don't have a lighter like that, you could take a dry spaghetti noodle, light it up. It helps light your candle up because the fire isn't going to go flaming up when you go to turn it on. And since we're on the scent candle topic, if you're not allowed to burn candles in your house, a good trick is to get the fall scent. You just put a pot of boiling water on the stove, chop up some apples, throw in some orange peels, Whole cinnamon, cloves, and just let it steam and boil you and eventually the water is going to keep evaporating. Guys, when it evaporates, I am telling you, your whole house would be smelling so, so good and yummy. Oh my god. It is the best natural air freshener I think anybody can make. So around the fall and Halloween time, of course, families love carving pumpkins together. I know my family used to always like carve one big pumpkin for in front of our door. However, we would have to do it like a day before like Halloween because pumpkins tend to rot fast. So a good trick is to after you're done carving your pumpkin, put your pumpkin in a bucket of bleach for two minutes and this guys will make your pumpkin last way longer. Another trick is when carving your pumpkin, if you want those perfect shapes like stars and hearts that nobody ever could get perfect, after you're done like cart, like taking all the guts and the pumpkin seeds all out the pumpkin, 
take the cookie cutter and place it where you want it and take the hammer and lightly hammer it until the cookie cutter goes through and you could just pop that little shape out and guys you have a perfect star or heart whatever shape you would like however if you're underage you might want to have your parents permission because you don't want to hurt your fingers trust me that is very painful. so we all know around the fall time the change in the weather could cause a nasty cough or irritation to your throat and of course nobody wants that because it's very painful and it sounds nasty something that my mother always gave me when I was little and then it just kind of grew on to where when I was sick I knew I needed to drink the tea yes guys tea tea is a good thing for you when you guys have like a nasty cough because it loses your phlegm the trick is not to put milk guys because milk could cause phlegm milk is what builds up your phlegm and that's what makes you cough and that's that nasty gooey thing and nobody wants so do not put milk in fact what I like to do is I take a Lipton tea so I boil you with some hot water with the Lipton tea I put two tablespoons of lemon juice and two tablespoons of vinegar and guys add some honey and your sweetener and guys the tea is perfect tastes so yummy and it helps your cough and your phlegm decompose and guys sooner or later trust me it's going to pass and you won't be sick as long as you probably would be when drinking a bunch of milk and all that yeah okay so most of us kind of start school around august september ish basically we're all in school most likely during the fall so i thought this one was kind of a fun life hack that you could use all year round but to fall it up I thought maybe you could use like cinnamon tea, chia tea, and teas that are just like bring the scent of fall. Gym is a required class for like whatever grade, even if you don't necessarily take it as an extra, you have some sort of activity that has to have you more active. And if you just like going to the gym in general, we all have those pair of shoes that are extremely stinky guys, like just the sweat from your feet. and. Once you take off the shoes, yeah, we're always that embarrassing person that everybody looks at and just like, I smell feet. I'm one of those. So a good trick is to actually put a tea bag in your shoe while you're not wearing it because it is a natural air freshener and it makes your shoes smell way better than it did before. So to follow it up, you could put cinnamon tea, chia tea, they have apple spice, they have all those different teas that guys that there's just fall scents and flavors that you could actually put in there or you could just put whichever tea that you would like and guys it is a perfect life hack that is one of my favorite ones honestly so around the fall time females we know we love those dark matte lip colors even if you're using a light lip color matte is definitely a essential for the fall beauty products everybody loves wearing matte lipstick because let's just face it it's it's been number one and it's probably going to be number one for a while for the fall tones so a good trick is if you have some sheer or glossy looking lipstick put like a paper towel on your lips and take some baby powder or just like regular powder you can use your translucent powder dab it on the lip area while the paper towels on it and when you take the paper towel off your lips would be matte and there you go you have two different shades of lipstick and one you so that is it for all my little fall life hacks if you guys have some fall life hacks that I did not cover please comment it down below that way we all could share with each other but thank you guys for watching and once again if you are not subscribed to my channel Please do so, that way you can be notified for any time I upload videos. And also, please thumbs up this video if you want more life hack videos like this. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Baby, break a sweat, break a sweat, baby.